if it's not a blower, it's a jackhammer off in the distance. <laughs> Sound of gunfire off in the distance. I'm getting used to it now. <laughs> Life during wartime. David Byrne. Look it up. Um, you guys know Camadoria Micro Spadix? Uh, I believe Micro Spadix means little uh, something to do with seeds. Spadix. Spadix is a seed structure. I'm not totally down with the anatomy, you know? Down with my own anatomy. I kind of know how that works, but, you know, all the different little parts and pieces, they do get confusing with uh, the technical words sometimes. But microspadix means little seed. I'll show you. These are, this is a palm from Mexico, not to be confused with Mexico. Um, and it is this incredibly dainty thing that is so elegant and beautiful. I call it the bamboo palm because it looks a lot like bamboo. See that? And it's just a little tiny thing here. This looks wonderful next to like white walls, like white stucco walls where you can really see it. Here it gets a little lost in the backdrop in the jungle, but it's still quite a beautiful plant. Um, it has a really, really gorgeous layout of its foliage. Um, and you can see it's, it's a super hot day. So I'm gonna be head up. I'm not wearing a shirt. I don't wanna scare you guys. I already got my, my notice from the fire department, um, you know, for a, you know, fire management clearing and I just haven't, I haven't done it yet. <laughs> gotta trim it back. Don't want it to burn up and cause a big wildfire. So, uh, but yeah, it's like 105 degrees here today. So trimming these trees, the most important thing, so these things are native to the mountains of Mexico. Uh, it, even though it's really super just delicate looking and tropical, it's extremely cold hardy. We learned this in 1989 when these things didn't even get burned at 18 degrees. So we don't even know how much cold hardy they are. Uh, and they make this really interesting leaning effect. And they just get thicker every year and bigger. This one's probably about close to nine feet tall in total. And one thing about these plants, you can make them look really pretty by doing some custom detail work on them. Did I say they're multi-trunking? Multi-trunking. Uh, the way you do that is you just, it's really easy, it's kind of fun. You just peel these guys off and, and you get this gorgeous green trunk underneath. It's a lot easier with two hands. Yeah, much easier with two hands. Uh, anyway, come on. <laughs> this is a male. The males are, they're kind of pretty, but they're not nearly as beautiful as the females. Females are much prettier. I kind of think that's true with humans as well. You know, I'm sort of biased that way. Um, but uh, so... Yeah, so you get this beautiful green ring. I already did one, so I'm going to take you over and show it to you. It's right over here. And you can see how clean and beautiful. So I'm taking the, the male flowers off over there. This is also a male. The males are just sort of inconsequential. But you can actually make kind of a cool little arrangement. See? Let's see here. Just like that. Um, the... These males will pollinate the females, as you would suppose, and they will make some beautiful seeds for the next generation, and they're bright red. Uh, but look how pretty this is once it's all totally trimmed up. You get all the green in here. The entire trunk is green. I didn't do it perfectly. I really should, because I'm getting paid for this. Uh, it's almost perfect. It's more perfect than most. But a lot of people just never trim their their bamboo palms and they just look all Yankee. And uh, so this is how they should look right after I leave. Oh, I see a piece I missed. See down here, see that? Uh, that's a little young, it's not coming up quite yet. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's your bamboo palm, Camadoria microspadix from the mountains of Mexico. It's just a gorgeous, delicate plant. Uh, it loves to lean out, you know romantically lean out, likes to blow in the breeze. And 
it's just a really beautiful, delicate touch of tropical foliage in your garden. And we usually have this plant all the time. This is an especially old one. This is probably 25 years old, this one here. Uh, but we always, we're always growing little ones. I'm going to cut this off right now. And I'm going to uh, take you and show you what a, what a female looks like. We'll get a little closer to the jackhammer noise. And do I get a good shot of this? Or is it, is it just impossible with the sunlight? There, look at that. Let's go look at the female now. Much prettier. That's what a female looks like right there. So I didn't have the heart to take these off. These are so beautiful. These fell off right here. I'll take these home and germinate those. Isn't that beautiful? Look at this. Gorgeous. There you go. Camadoria microspadix. <laughs> One more time. Camadoria microspadix seed pods from a female.